Hi everyone, welcome to MedSketch. The toxin of the day is carbon monoxide poisoning. For ease, we have named the scene as factory area. As the source of carbon monoxide is mainly industrial and it is also eliminated as a part of war gas and eliminating gas from lighthouses. So basically, carbon monoxide is invisible and is colorless and belongs to the category of asphyxiants. So you can see the white smoke or invisible smoke in the backdrop. It represents its invisible and colorless nature. Fatal period of carbon monoxide poisoning is represented by a clock that is present on the left side of the scene that says two to three hours. The needles are stuck at two and three hours, representing a period of two to three hours fatal dose of carbon monoxide poisoning is variable it basically depends upon the concentration let's talk about the mechanism of action so basically carbon monoxide binds to the hemoglobin forming carboxy hemoglobin you can revise your concept of biochemistry so the carboxy hemoglobin can cause hypoxia because it has less oxygen carrying capacity so let's talk about the sign and symptoms. So you can see a billboard on the right side of the scene. If you zoom the scene, you can see different percentages and different symptoms are present at different concentrations. So at 20%, you can see headache is common, shortness of breath on exertion, mild headache, lassitude and flushed skin. On 20 to 30% or 30% throbbing headache is present, buzzing in the ears, breathlessness, muscular weakness and incoordination, vomiting, nausea, uh, abdominal pain can be seen. On 40% uh, you can see severe headache, confusion, dizziness, collapse, breathlessness, mental confusion, impaired judgment, muscular weakness and coordination. On 50% you can see that all the symptoms are intensified. You can see uh, chest pain, shortness of breath, staggering, mental confusion, loss of memory, palpitation, dyspnea. And you can uh, mistake a person from drunkness. And on 70% uh, you can see that uh, kind stroke respiration can be present, total loss of consciousness coma, intermittent asphyxial convulsions, respiratory paralysis and death can occur above 70 percent. So you can just remember different uh, concentrations and different signs and symptoms. You cannot remember all these but you can remember simply that at 20 percent headache can be present, 30 percent nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, 40 percent confusion and dizziness, 50% chest pain, shortness of breath, 70% loss of consciousness. In the text, detail percentage ranges and symptoms are given. Let's talk about the post-mortem appearance. So it is represented by a cherry tree just beneath the billboard. So post-mortem lividity is typically cherry red in color. Internally, viscerals and other tissues are cherry red colored at more than 5 gram per deciliter concentration of carbon monoxide. Serious effusions can be present, pulmonary edema can also be present. So let's talk about the medical legal importance. Accidental poisonings are very much common. You may have heard of various incidents due to the blockage of the car exhaust and due to the accumulation of carbon monoxide in the car cabin people die and in winters Due to the heaters and gas exposures and locked rooms, there are a lot of accidental deaths. So accidental exposure to the gas is caused by leaks from residential supply sources, the burning of lime, burning building, etc. In few cases, the driver and passengers in closed car have been affected by the exhaust gases in the car. So suicidal a person may sit in his car and connect a tube to the exhaust so it can also be used in suicidal cases but mostly accidental exposure is seen. You can also see a car in the left side of the scene that is emitting fumes so it is representing the accidental poisoning. So let's talk about the treatment. So you can see a banner in the middle of the scene that says protect your brain and heart. So 
first step is to relieve cerebral and cardiac ischemia and second thing is to promote the dissociation of carboxyhemoglobin so in order to remove the carboxyhemoglobin we have to provide with supplemental oxygen so you can see uh, oxygen cylinders just beneath the board so the main array would be to improve the cerebral and cardiac perfusion and by removing the carboxyhemoglobin from the system and replacing it with oxygen in all cases of carbon monoxide poisoning the first step would be to move the patient to a safe place after moving him to a safe location then initial resuscitation should be initiated as we have talked about the oxygen therapy and patient should be kept quiet and no movements to avoid the muscular demand for oxygen and artificial respiration and in grave cases there would be need of whole blood transfusions antibiotics diuretics or cortico steroid may be used in the treatment of cerebral hypoxia or if edema is produced so here was our uh, video of carbon monoxide if you have any questions you can drop down in the comment section till then take care for detailed literature of toxins, refer our textbook, Excel Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, available at all major medical bookstores all over Pakistan.